Hey everybody, this is Anaris of Anaris Starcraft, and this is going to be a one versus one on Steps of War, also known as Grassland Battle, uh, and it's going to be Mick spawning as the Red Protoss down in the bottom right, versus his opponent Happy Hydra, who will be spawning as the Blue Zerg in the top right. And uh, I'm not sure if I said uh, bottom left, bottom right a segment, but I meant to say uh, bottom left. I know directions very well. Um, anyways, both pro or both players are going to go ahead and start off the game with various assortments of faces in the chat. And like I said, I did get this uh, I did get this um, replay from a website called Team Arena. Here is the address right here if you're interested in going. www.team-arena.org uh, Looks like they have some really good replays on there. I would highly suggest checking them out. As this probe right here is checking out Happy Hydra's base, just kind of doing circles with, uh, you know, movement cues, going around the base, seeing what's up. Um, he did see that Happy Hydra did go ahead and drop a 14 pool. Um, and we're probably going to see an early expansion here. Yep, sure enough, although the probe denied uh, Happy the early expansion just by a few seconds, but not by really enough to make any sort of long-term difference in this game. Uh, Mick is going to go ahead and throw down a one-gate Psychor, so we'll have to see what he's going to do with this, as his buildings are not at his ramp. Now, um, versus the Zerg, it's really important that you actually kind of build off at a choke, especially early in the game, um, as the Zerg can do a run-by of any sort of uh, forces that you can have uh, this early in the game. Like you see, he just has one Zealot right now, uh, whereas Happy Hydra is kind of, you know, bringing his queen down very slowly to this hatchery as it finishes. Um, it looks like uh, he'll probably make another queen soon. Yep, there it is right there, as he is going to go ahead and bring out some more Zerglings and drop a spine crawler here at this expansion, pretty much just securing it, making sure you know that Mick isn't able to really do anything to it this early in the game uh, before he starts milking it. So uh, Happy is going to go ahead and move out with a whole bunch of Zerglings. Now this is what I was talking about a minute ago, why it's important to seal off your ramp. Because if he had buildings right here, these Zerglings would not be able to run in. And right now they have free reign of the base, they are going to chase down the Zealot, however they do get split up and really don't do a whole lot of damage um, to any of these units. Really this, I mean this attack could have been a lot more lethal than it really was. He could have cut in here, killed some probes, he could have cornered this uh, Stalker. Unfortunately he was not able to do that as... Um, you know, Mick did kite around the Zealot and uh, just pretty much kept him separated and was successful in splitting up Happy Hydra um, and keeping him from doing any real damage. Happy is going to go ahead and move this overlord down here, try to check for an expansion, make sure that uh, Mick has not broken through these rocks, as this is a pretty common, pretty common place to put your second expansion, as it is very close within walking distance of the main base for the bottom left. Uh, not too much going on right at this very second. Actually, Happy does have three queens, so he's probably thinking that, you know, I saw the gateway. Let's see if he did actually see the Stargate. Yep, he did, um... Actually, he did not see the Stargate. He did see that there was, uh, three gateways up at the moment, though. So, uh, Happy did not know that there was going to be a uh, Void Rays or whatnot, uh, coming. However, it was a good move on Happy's part to get out these queens, as they pretty much just do prevent any sort of early rush from Void Rays or whatnot. Especially with their transfusability, they can just heal themselves for plenty long enough time for Hatcher to, uh, Hatcher, Happy Hydra to do any sort of a reaction. There is going to be an engagement here, however, really not too much going on, as Mick does have plenty of forces to guard this natural expansion, and is going to go ahead and saturate his expansion with a lot more probes, um, leaving, you know, enough enough probes at his base to get the job done, but uh, now there's going to be a lot more income. Let's actually take a look at that here. Happy Hydra is going to go ahead and sit on a good solid 1300 um, as this game progresses here because he was able to secure that expansion earlier. However, Mig did do good in going ahead and securing his own to make sure he does not fall behind too early in the game as Happy is going to look to get a second expansion here, try to get a good solid economic advantage over Mick, uh, overpower him, as Protoss can be really, really formidable opponents against the Zerg. Um, you know, Protoss have so many things they can do versus them. You know, a Force Field can just completely negate Hydras by pushing them back uh, out of firing range to fry the Zerglings, which we might see a little bit of that here as Happy is kind of tempting, uh, tempting Mick's forces, but really nothing comes out of that. However, Happy Hydra's Overseer does die a horrible, explosive, bloody death to these Phoenixes as another battle does take place. These Zerglings die super quick, uh, 
Make does take advantage of the uh, the lift ability from the Phoenix. However, really not too much damage was done beyond the loss of the Zerglings. As ha Happy is going to go ahead and focus on Hydras, which are really kind of a good. I don't want to call them a meta unit, because but they are really good versus several different types of units, especially in StarCraft One. They were a lot of Zerg players, bread and butter. And I'm not talking about the top tier players here. I mean, I know that you know each unit to them has a completely different usage. But for you know the common Zerg player, the Hydra was pretty much the go-to unit for almost any situation. Um, um, Happy is going to go ahead and expand his creep out here. Definitely a good move. Gives him uh, good speed advantage to get over to mix forces quicker. However, those Scythe Storms just decimated the Zerg army as they are running back and retreat very quickly, hoping to, um, you know, just live long enough to defend this base. However, the second round of Scythe Storm just made that entire force explode in a fiery ball of bloody, deathy goodness or something. Anyways, very bloody, very awesome as these Zerglings do continue to go up and check for an expansion. They see that nothing is really here, so they are going to guard for a little bit, make sure nothing is coming. Whereas Habber, Mick is going to go ahead and move out, and he has scouted that there is an expansion here, and he does need to take that out ASAP, as Mick does not have his own second expansion here to respond in kind. So this should die very quickly as he does have three uh, three Storming units right there. Yep, and sure enough, all those units do die super quick. And you'll notice that I'll probably miss a couple things this game because I am playing at S faster X2 speed. That is because this map is through this match is so long that I don't want to have to upload like you know a six piece game. But this game was just so epic when I watched it, my jaw dropped, and I just said, "Wow, I definitely have to give these guys a shout out." and you know show you guys you know just this game it was just so epic so more size storm just decimating the zerg the zerg army as these zealots with the charge upgrade continue to come in and just hulk smash these zergs in. i mean they really don't have a chance these zerglings oh yeah yep see they're trying to kite around a little bit trying to stall the zealots stall the zealots from killing the hatchery and unfortunately the zealots came in uh, with plenty of reinforcements, Zerglings getting a good surround on the Zealot army. However, there are enough Zealots to just, you know, walk through these Zerglings. Eventually, Happy Hydra is able to reinforce this uh, in enough time to kind of make sure that Protoss doesn't get any sort of permanent, uh, any sort of permanent hold up here. And does bring in uh, several drones to throw down some more spine crawlers. Static defenses are a good idea at this point, uh, considering the quantity of size storm that we have seen thus far, and uh, how much of an effect it has had on Happy Hydra's forges. Meanwhile, Mick is going to go ahead and continue to warp in the um, um, High Templar zealots, which are proving to be really effective this game. So, they are running over uh, Happy Hydra's creep line. He does not have an observer to kill this creep at this point, but unfortunately, um, unfortunately for him, he, uh, these roaches are going to use this speed advantage to take out a lot of these zealots as they are able to kite these zealots. They are a direct counter for the zealot, as you will see as this game progresses here. Um, there is going to be a major drone transfer down to the 